All right, everybody, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're gonna to be reviewing Keystone Light. Now, this beer and me go a long ways back. Um, kind of started in my late teenage years. So, obviously when you're a teenager, you'll drink just about any beer. And uh, you got your like natty, you know, your, your bush pop, you know, you got uh, Milwaukee's best, you know, you'll, you'll drink just about any beer. But my stepdad always used to buy Keystone Light. And I got on him, ragged on him the one day, like, why are you always buying this cheap beer, you know? Kind of like ragging on him. And because uh, at the time I was a big Bud Light guy, I thought Bud Light was the best beer ever, you know, for whatever reason, my 16, 17 year old self thought that, you know, Bud Light was the best beer. And, you know, over time, I think maybe I was wrong. Uh, I used to drink Budweiser's, Bud Lights quite a bit um, back then. And uh, over time, I think Bud Light and Budweiser, now, may be wrong. Put something in there, some kind of additive or ingredient per se. I started getting real bad headaches from drinking Bud Light and Budweiser. Never used to. Okay, it's the same alcohol content as it was. And I don't normally get headaches from drinking at all, you know. So I stopped drinking Budweiser, but I went over to Coors Light. And little did I know that Coors Brewing Company, now it says it on the box actually makes Keystone Light. And what I've come to find out is that Keystone Light is not a lot different from Coors Light. Okay, so Coors generally comes in 12, 18, and 24 packs, as well as kegs. And Keystone usually comes in 15 pack, 30 pack, or keg. And uh, over time, just all the, the family gatherings and stuff, and my stepdads and uh, his family would, would drink this quite a bit and I never could could quite figure out why but you, you, you do the math on it it's significantly cheaper than buying Coors Light and it has a very similar taste so I'm, I'm gonna go over a little bit of uh, the beer itself so it's a 12 ounce can obviously it's a 4.1 percent alcohol so to me, the alcohol content is kind of low. 101 calories, 4.7 carbs, and less than one gram of protein. Obviously, fat free. So, I've never even seen a regular Keystone. I've only seen Keystone Light. Like, I don't even know if they make a regular Keystone or if it's all Keystone Light. And it's made by the Coors Brewing Company in Colorado, I believe. You have Coors Golden Colorado. So, um, I should look at the bottom here. Okay. April 11, 22, supposedly the expiry date on here. So that can said 2017. The average just haven't changed the can in five years. So I was hoping it was still good. It is still good. I was just saw the date up here. It didn't match the date down below at all. And, uh, I'm going to crack this open and let you guys know what I think of it. Let me get this box out of our way here. just want to show you this, the 15 pack. Now, if I know I'm going to have some friends over or something, I'll buy the 30. You know, I'm going to drink it for a few days, I'll buy the 30. But it's a little bit cheaper to buy the 30, not too much. But the 15 pack is right around what you pay for a 12 pack, of course. So if you put it that way, looking at your money, that's about... What you'll be looking at. Extra three beers essentially. Um, it's got a nice pour to it. Not a lot of foam. So it was pour at like 45, 35 degree angle there. That's that's what she looks like on the pour. Very little head on there, very little foam at the top. That just smells like, you know, beer. There's no real specific. But the taste, I said, is very similar to a Coors Light. It took me a while to notice it. And the more I drank and the older I got, I really started to realize that there's not a huge difference. 
and it used to be pretty readily available. But then I realized I was always seeing Coors Light and not seeing Keystone. So I don't know if it's a COVID issue, a supply chain issue, or whatever have you, that I was a easily able to find Coors and not always able to find Keystone. And then I noticed Walmart started carrying Keystone and Giant Eagle started carrying Keystone. But for a while there, I was just going down to Sheets because it's, it's pretty close to me and picking up from down there. But my, my Sheets has really disappointed me with their beer selection lately. And I don't know if it's just because everybody's going there or they're not getting the amount they normally get in shipments or what have you. But I've been trying to avoid Sheets. It's my last resort now. It used to be like my go-to and now it's kind of a last resort. But uh, hopefully you guys are staying warm. It's about nine degrees here in Ohio, where I'm at. Hopefully you guys are in a warmer climate and enjoying the beach or something, the desert, you know, place I'd rather be than here. But uh, this beer is not bad. It's definitely better than Milwaukee's best. It's definitely better than Miller Lite, okay? No offense to Miller Lite, it's all right. Just, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, obviously, it doesn't even come in the category of IPA or anything. It's a regular light beer. And I, I'm now at the point from my 16-year-old self to my 30-year-old self, the 16-year-old me was wrong, and the Bud Light wasn't the best beer. Like, this is actually a good light beer, you know? And obviously, I do like Coors a little bit more. I don't know what it is, but just a little bit different than this. But this is very close second to Coors Light, as far as light beers are concerned. But Michelob's growing on me a little bit, too. I'll do a Michelob review one of these days. Michelob is growing on me. Uh, it's lower calorie, and it's lower carb. It's pretty much the same alcohol content, so... Michelob's growing on me a little bit, but yeah, it's a regular, everyday, common man kind of beer, you know? In case you're wondering, this, this is a throwback LeBron jersey. It is uh, from the Cleveland 172 Classic Collection, Nike Double XL 2 length. Classic Cavs jersey, busted it out for the video. I haven't worn it in a while. I used to wear this to games all the time. We still have LeBron, but I kind of closeted it for a little bit because we don't have LeBron anymore. I still think LeBron will come back and retire here. I just got a feeling that even if he plays one game here, he'll retire at Cavs just because he started his career here, won a championship here, he's from here. And he's not doing very well with the Lakers, let's put it that way. I know this isn't a Let's Talk Sports channel, but uh, he's not doing so well with the Lakers. The Lakers aren't doing too good. And the Cavs right now, I mean, we're in like fourth place. So they've been better off to stand here. But uh, you know, what do I know? You know, I think the Cavs are a playoff team. I think we got a chance to make it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think it's going to be tough. Um, the... the the Nets are always going to be a tough game, and the Heat are going to be a tough game. But other than that, I think we can handle our own. Obviously, that loss to Detroit didn't feel good, but a lifelong Cavs fan. Definitely not a bandwagon kind of guy. No, I was watching the Cavs before we got LeBron. Ricky Davis was throwing himself the ball to get a triple-double those days when we were terrible. I mean, we had Big Z, but other than that, team was awful. We won like 13 games or something. It was awful. Um, before we got LeBron. Yeah, not a bandwagon guy. You're not going to see me wearing a Laker jersey or a Heat jersey. It's not going to happen. Cavs in it for life. Uh, back to the beer. Not too much I can say about it. It's similar to Coors. It's kind of got a little bit of its own taste to it. It's not a real heavy beer. It's not a real strong beer. It's not a high alcohol content beer, but it is a very affordable and a very cheap beer. If you can find it, I don't know if it's 
all across the United States. Uh, I know I've seen it anywhere from Ohio to Pennsylvania to West Virginia to, to down south. So I'm pretty sure it's over most of the country. I've seen it down south and like, you know, Florida and uh, South Carolina and stuff. I've seen it down there too. So let me know if you guys have had it, what you, what you think of it. If you like it, if you think it's trash, I don't care. It's completely, completely your own opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. It's what makes us a free country. We got to fight for our free speech before it's gone. It's another reason I, uh, I doubled up. I not only am on YouTube, but I'm on Rumble as well because Rumble is a free speech platform. And I believe that Rumble is doing the right thing. And uh, I think if more people start using Rumble, it's gonna go a long way. So I'm kind of just posting on both YouTube and Rumble. I really do like Rumble though, because there's a lot of things on Rumble that are like banned from YouTube or I can't see on YouTube. Uh, I think YouTube's gone kind of the way of Facebook with too much censorship and stuff like that. And uh, that's not freedom, that's not free speech, that's not the way we want to go in this country. Trust me, it's a slippery slope. Uh, just my opinion on that. Get back to the beer a little bit here. It's almost gone. It goes down real smooth, but it's hard to get drunk on it if you are trying to get drunk because you got to drink quite a few of them. Unless you're a lightweight at 4%, um, you're going to have to drink quite a few of these. It's probably to give you an extra few beers. I mean, you can probably drink the whole 30 if you're a heavyweight drinker for sure. Um, if not, maybe the 15 pack lasts you two nights or something. Then you have six, seven, eight a day at night. But you're going to drink these pretty quick. They go down real smooth. Especially if you pour it. Uh, if you drink it out of a can, it's got a little heavier carbonation to it. And I try to eliminate uh, some of that carbonation just because I don't want to get hiccups or heartburn or anything like that. So I try not to drink it right out of the can. Uh, pour it in a glass is just the way to go. You get some of that carbonation floats up. You don't get that indigestion and stuff like that. So that's just another tip. Uh, I'm not a health professional or anything like that. Just from me drinking over time, drinking right out of the can versus pouring it in a glass. Just pour it in a glass. It takes two seconds, you know, and uh, it's going to save you that the burping and the hiccups and the heartburn later on. You're going to get the same taste. You're going to get the same amount of alcohol. You know, you don't get any less alcohol if you pour it in a glass. You know, it just tastes it tastes a little better. It's a little, little more enjoyable to drink, but. We're going to give you our final thoughts here on Keystone here in a minute. All right. So like flavor, flavor, I think it's like a five. Like price, I obviously get like a nine or a ten in the value scale. So I'm going to go middle of the road here and just, you know, give it a 7.5. You know? It's very, like I said, very affordable beer. Not a ton of taste to it, but I do like the fact you're not gonna get a hangover from this beer. It's kind of like an everyday after work kind of beer or like a lunchtime kind of beer, you know? Uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts on Keystone Light. I hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Press that rumble button, press that like button. We definitely appreciate that. Comment down below what you think of Keystone. If you've tried it, if you've seen it near you, let me know. Always appreciate that. Uh, signing off for now. Until next time.